Hello everybody, uh, my name is Dr. John Stewart. I'm the inventor and president of Biophysica, where we make uh, colloidal generators for making colloidal mineral waters of silver, gold, and many other metals. So I want to show you a range of models from the smallest, the smallest colloidal generator in the world up to the largest. So we'll start with the smallest, which I call the Stericard. It's the size of a business card, and it has an anode of pure silver on one side, a sheet of silver, not a wire, but a sheet, and on the other side, a copper surface. So there's an anode and a cathode, and this is for portable use when you uh, have a, a, a drink of orange, or uh, vodka and orange at the beach, you put this in, and the, an ultraviolet light comes on, and you... Uh, Mix this for a few minutes and it puts silver atoms into the juice or the water to help purify it, to help kill any viruses or bugs like particularly hepatitis, salmonella and other, uh, other organisms, Norwalk virus, that are very, very dangerous. So that's the, the smallest colloidal generator in the world. The next one is a portable one for travelers a bit more robust and actually quite professional. And it, it takes the, uh, the silver electrodes plugging in, similar to my larger domestic model. So these are the smaller electrodes that plug in here, the two of them, and a stirrer. And this sits on a container, a vessel like, th like this, or a mason jar filled with the appropriate water, distilled or reverse osmosis water, and you let this sit. You get about one part per million per hour. Uh, so you can get quite concentrated, powerful uh, colloidal generator. Now the inside of this has uh, the same technology as in my more advanced model. It has a stirrer motor, uh, alternating polarity, constant current, all the essential uh, attributes of my more professional domestic generator which is here and this is the domestic model the uh, single channel with a digital meter the two large electrodes and we'll plug it in just to show this has a this one has the digital readout which tells you the ongoingly what the current is going through the water. Normally we have about two milliamperes per square inch of electrode. So this is two inch by six inch is six square inches. So we don't want to go more than about 12 to 20 milliamperes. So that's all controlled. And this nanometer control knob will tell, determine the quality, how small the nanoparticles are. But when you have a very small current in milliamperes, you get uh, almost monoatomic uh, atoms and nanoparticles that can enter through the blood-brain barrier. Anything more than 20 nanometers cannot enter the blood-brain barrier, which is why many antibiotics don't work for meningitis. So that's the single channel. This one has a pair of uh, copper you see the red color of the copper electrodes, two inch by six inch, but these can be any, any electrodes. Um, and then we move on to the uh, two channel model. This is a very popular one because it, it, it allows great flexibility. Uh, again, a meter to indicate the current flow in each of the two channels. And the, each channel has a separate stirrer plate to which you can attach the large copper, silver or other gold or other electrodes. Just to show you again inside we have a stirrer motor and the, the cable coming from the two channel generator. So you would have two of these, two of these stirrer plates simultaneously in uh, two separate containers. So you could be doing you could be doing gold in one arrangement and silver or any other metal in the other. So gold takes several days because gold does not re release its atoms easily. So the gold 
can, can take up uh, the, the use of your generator. So this shows the usefulness of a two-channel uh, generator. Now, the focus of today's talk really is on my commercial and industrial generators. So instead of two inch by six inch, we have these uh, giant six inch by eight inch electrodes of pure solid silver, uh, six inch by eight inch. So these sit down into a large container which can be up to uh, generally 55 gallon drum and you can have many of these pairs. Let me show you an example of a small commercial system that we, we have in for repair right now. So this is a, a, a typical small container and into it uh, sits the pairs, the pairs of silver electrodes. So we, here we have two pairs of silver electrodes going into this container. You'll notice that the electrodes and everything seem a bit black. This is because whenever you're working with metal ions and atoms, a lot of them plate off. This is like electroplating. It's unavoidable on the inside of the container on the electrode. So before each session, it's good to clean off any deposit oxide uh, that forms on, on these electrodes. So this is an example of a small commercial unit and, and as I say we can go up to 55 gallon drums or more. So that's all for today. Thank you very much. Hello, thank you for watching. Uh, Dr. John Stewart here, uh, April 2018. I want to introduce you to our six channel industrial commercial colloidal generator. This is the control box that gives us six separate channels of power. Here's one of the channels with its cable and the cable goes to a pair of large area solid sheet electrodes like one goes here and a number, number eight uh, thread and the other goes to the other Electrode. So this pair will sit in a container of many gallons up to about 55 gallon drum and the uh, ionizer controller will put out the appropriate current. If I short this here that light should come on. Yeah, you see the light comes on on channel one and I short the two together. The green light comes on and if I change the current level I can make it go up all the way up to about almost 1800 uh, milliamps which is 1.8 amps. It can go up to 2 amps but because of the limitation of the 10,000 ohm potentiometer here uh, we're limited to uh, 1, uh, 1.7 that gives us a, a nice lower range which many customers want around a few milliamps the reason being is that we don't want to overdrive the electrodes. Uh, if you want quality, you have to go for the smallest nanoparticle size and the current has to be controlled to a, to a fairly low level. That's 92 milliamps. That's 66 milliamps down to 27, 26 milliamps, 19 milliamps. So those are good levels to be working at, even with these large area electrodes if you want colloidal silver nanoparticles that can get through the blood-brain barrier. They have to be less than 20 nanometers, ideally less than 10, to be truly effective against some of these vicious viruses and uh, bacteria. Now we know that the brains of Alzheimer's patients often show uh, chlamydia, Borrelia from Lyme, uh, other spirochetes and very dangerous organisms that get through into the brain. Um, this is the electrode, six inch by eight inch, and it, it's firmly attached to an overall beam that keeps the pair of electrodes. You can have up to six pairs in your big drum uh, if you want. In addition to the silver, that's pure silver, in addition I now have pure magnesium sheets so I can do the same for colloidal magnesium now colloidal zinc 
colloidal um, gold, copper, platinum, and most of these metals I can now get in large area size for commercial and industrial quantities. So I think that's all for today. Thank you. Hello, this is Dr. John Stewart again. I want to focus today on our uh, traveler's model that we call the silver bullet. It's a compact unit, uh, the same length as my domestic model uh, here, the same length, but narrower to fit in your pocket. And it's got, it's actually got all the essential features of my larger domestic model, the professional. It put, puts out professional quality colloidal mineral waters of silver, copper, gold, whatever, uh, whatever electrodes you put. For here, for example, I have a, a typical gold electrode. It's quarter inch by four inches. Quarter by four is one square inch of pure gold, 99.99% gold. In here is the stirrer to keep the water moving because you get acid and alkali buildup. And here is a, a typical silver electrode. You would have two of these. And that would sit in a container uh, such as a um, mason jar or, or, a, or a glass or a coffee jar. And it has its own internal battery and can be powered by an external 12 volt source that's in, uh, available internationally. It can also be powered by a solar panel. So if your power goes off, you can power it from a solar panel, a car battery, uh, internal battery. Uh, and again, let me show you the inside. Again, the stirrer motor, the alternating polarity to, 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 to uh, keep the electrodes clean because when one is the anode, the other is the cathode. The cathode builds up oxides. And then when you switch over, all that oxide and buildup gets burned off. So at the end of the session, after two days or one day, the electrodes are still fairly clean. So that's, so that's the silver bullet and the little on-off switch. And that's the, uh, this model that is pocket size. The internal battery is going to be rechargeable. So every time you plug it in to any source, the battery will be charged up uh, ready for any emergency use, but normally you would use an external power source. This is Sufi, so she likes to be at the center, center of attack, uh, center of attention here. Yeah.